In this tutorial, we'll learn how to format numbers in visualizations as workbook authors in Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. Formatting numbers in a visualization provides clarity and improves readability. For example, abbreviating large numbers makes them easier to interpret quickly. I will use a balance sheet workbook which uses the Financials GL balance sheet subject area for this walkthrough. In the receivables visualization, the numbers aren't formatted as currency. And since they are very long, I will abbreviate them to make them easier to read. I want to apply consistent formatting across all visuals in this workbook. To change this, I will select the visualization and then select the properties panel. Then I will select the values tab, which allows me to format the values in my visualization. I will change the number format from number to currency, which updates the numbers to the default currency. I'll then select Custom for the currency value and search for Analytics Currency. You can select a primary currency used for reporting. When working with financials, subject areas delivered by Oracle, like the GL balance sheet in this workbook, you will notice a column called Analytics Currency, which refers to a single designated currency that is used to allow consistent cross-currency comparisons by converting all transactional values to this chosen currency. The best practice is to use the analytics currency for consistent reporting. Another useful option is to abbreviate lengthy numbers. By toggling abbreviate to on, I can quickly format the numbers in millions. This makes the numbers easier to interpret. The visual also follows consistent standards of formatting numbers for reports and analysis. Another change I can make is to the axis values in my visualization. I'll scroll down to receivables, and change the number format from auto to currency. I will make sure to apply the custom analytics currency. I can again use the abbreviate option to make the numbers more visually appealing. Find additional videos in this series and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence resources in the links below.